Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. Today we will be talking about the Selmer Celis Presence Clarinets. I will be doing a demonstration of all of the B-flat instruments in my inventory today so you can kind of get a feel for what the Selmer Presence is like, um, how the instruments are different from each other, how they are similar, um, and all in all, what to look for when you're picking out a new instrument, um, especially when you're working with these Selmer, um, Selmer Paris instruments. Um, I've got my personal instrument attached to my body. It is a Selmer Celis Presence. So this B-flat clarinet is about five years old. Um, it just came back from the shop with an overhaul, so it should be able to hold up pretty well um, with these other new guys. So you'll get a, like, a really solid... Um, example of the differences between these brand new instruments and how the how they're standing the test of time, if you will. So without further ado, we're going to use my clarinet today as the control. Um, Summer Silas Presence B flat clarinet, about five years old. My barrel is a Brian Corbin uh, traditional barrel that's 65 millimeters long. Um, we'll talk about these barrel lengths when I get to it. I have my Diderio Reserve Evolution mouthpiece. And the deserve or the Dario Reserve Classic reads straight three and a half, and this is a reed I particularly enjoy playing on. Um, oh, and a Silverstein Hexa ligature in rose gold. So I will be using an F major scale slurred and articulated, and I will be playing some of the opening to Brahms's F major, E flat major, sorry, F E flat major clarinet sonata um, for our trial. So here we go. start on some of the new clarinets. All right, this is serial number S02189. <laughs> exactly my cup of tea. It's a little bit different from mine. Um, though a lot of these things can be adjusted. Um, I think the main difference for me is that the key heights are a little bit, the, the rings are a little bit higher than what I would typically like and I haven't adjusted that yet because I know I'm not everybody. But if you like the sound of this clarinet and you would like to give it a try, just let me know and we can do whatever adjustments you might possibly need for um, basic key heights or spring tensions or anything like that. Alright, so this one is serial number S02349. <laughs>
this clarinet is glorious and I love it. It's very similar to my clarinet, um, if not maybe a little bit better. Um, I might like this clarinet better than my own instrument, so if you want it, come, come at me. Okay, this is serial number S02406. <sighs> stood the test of time pretty well. Just to visit the control, because we're scientific, let's go back to my clarinet. All right, control clarinet, once again. <sighs> the test of time. It's five years old and it feels very similar to these two brand new instruments. So if you're also looking for a clarinet that you want to stand the test of time to feel the same way you did when you bought it, these are a great option. Um, I have three in stock right now. If you're interested in trying these out, please feel free to comment below, send me a message, uh, visit cleverclarinetist.com or shoot me an email at larkin at cleverclarinetist.com. All right, so we talked a little bit about intonation and how important that is. So I've got my control clarinet, my clarinet here. We're going to do a little intonation test. Um, I've got my tuner. I like the app Tunable because it's very intense. <laughs> um, but any, any reliable tuner app you like is fine, um, or an analog tuner is also good. Um, so for the clarinet, I like to start by tuning my open G. No matter what concert pitch it is, if you're playing A clarinet, still an open G, it doesn't matter. Um, the reason is because that's when the tube is pretty short, and so you would tune that note based, um, based on your barrel and your top joint here. Then we would tune a concert A. I know I'm switching gears a little bit. Going on my B flat clarinet, I'll be a B. Um, and then I would tune this joint here. Um, if you find yourself needing to tune your bell, that is a pretty strong um, indicator that your clarinet is falling out and it's time for a new one or that there's something wrong with it. Because these notes down here um, should be hanging out on the low side. Like your low E and F, they shouldn't be super sharp. Alright, so I'm going to tune my open G on my clarinet. sharp which is good because then I can um, I have some room for shading so that, um, covering all the holes if I am going really fast or some kind of motion like that so my approach is pretty good just a hair sharp now I'm going to tune my A all right it landed dead on so I know I was biting a little bit at the beginning of that and now it's pretty good but I'll give it a little wiggle at the middle, just in case. Yes, it is beautiful. All right, so, and then I also like on new clarinets to see how the high range is kind of ending up. hair 
shark all the time. Now, I know I've said, like, every single note I just tested was a hair shark, but that's kind of the point, is that everything was a hair shark. Everything was exactly the same amount of shark, which was kind of what we were going for. You'd rather be a little bit on the high side, I think, because you have room to pull out. I'm sorry if you're on the low side, some major modifications have to happen. Um, all right, so let's test the intonation on one of these other clarinets. I'll pick which one was my favorite um, after this one. All right, so we got my favorite new clarinet in the inventory, which is S02349. Did you agree? Uh, if so or if not, let me know in the comments. All right, so as I said earlier, my barrel is a 65 millimeter barrel. The barrels that come with these instruments are 65 and a half millimeters. For some reason, that half millimeter makes a huge difference to me intonation wise. Um, it might just be my low tongue position. My tongue position tends to be on the lower side, um, which means my pitch is going to actually end up on the lower side as well, typically speaking. Um, so let's give this a shot and throw my tune my throat G, my low or my throat G, my B in the middle of the staff, and then my altissimo note. All right. Dead on, just immediately dead on. Same, just right there. And these are all square on as well. Like this, <laughs> this m might be the perfect clarinet. Just saying. Um, so. I love the evenness of this instrument, I love the intonation of the, this instrument, and of course the cherry on top is that the sound is glorious. Um, again, serial number S02349, please contact me if you're interested in this instrument, it's awesome. Um, I guarantee you'll love it. Um, but stick around for more 